So here's a quick one that was sent over to me from a subscriber from my Strong Successful Mail channel about a male teacher that came this close to not only losing his job, but obviously having his life ruined because a young gal, a young teenage gal, didn't like him. Didn't like that he disciplined her and all that. So she decided she was going to make up a whole bunch of awful things that you guys can use your imagination on to get him fired and ruin his life. But fortunately, a guardian angel this guy wasn't aware of came in to save the day. And this is going to demonstrate to you guys just how how, God, how men can be so men are so vulnerable and so easily their life can be ruined just like this because of an accusation. And at the end of the day, the whole believe all, you know, that type of thing can ruin a guy. And also how the the BS that happens, the lying, the manipulation tactics, all that type of stuff starts at a very early age in women. They learn from little girls how to manipulate their brothers, their fathers, other boys at school. They learn these things early on. So by the time they're adults, they're fucking masters. I want to say Jedi masters, but they're like little Sith lords. And you're going to see what I'm talking about right here. It says here, Dear SSM, this, this short story might be of use to you. I've heard you say that women learn to be devious at an early age, or something to that effect, and I think this il this illustrates that theory. About 12 years ago, my wife was working at a daycare center in Central California. The school caters to toddlers through middle school. School-age kids get dropped off early by their parents, and then bus to their school at the proper time. Then they get picked up and brought back to the daycare until their parents get off work and pick them up. One particular girl, age approximately 12 or 13, got pissed off at one of the day daycare teachers, a young man, who had disciplined her. She decided to get even with him. There you go. She's probably acting like a little a-hole. He was doing his job, correcting her, and right there, she's going to get even with him. And can you take a wild guess what that type of getting even with him <clears throat> was going to be? As chance would have it. A maintenance man was working in the next room when this girl told her friend, I'll just say he touched me and then he'll get fired. And you know what? She's right. This was 12 years ago. If this happened today, it'll go to a whole new level. The little bee actually did it. She reported that the young male teacher had put his hands on her. The maintenance, man's, the maintenance man had heard about it and came forward. He told what he had heard and that, and that day was saved. The teacher was not fired, banned, blacklisted, arrested, or prosecuted, all of which might have happened if this girl's story was believed. Today, he has a career teaching elementary school, and I would like to say that this, this girl was expelled and banned from this daycare, but that didn't happen. The school apparently cared more about the tuition than doing the right thing. So yes, that's great that he, the maintenance man, heard this and was able to back up and said that what, what, what she said and, and, and admit that and, and prove her wrong and all that. But uh, still, they didn't kick her out. They care more about the money there. She's accusing this guy of doing things with his hands, or probably worse, and she isn't kicked out. Now I'm glad this guy was saved. He didn't lose his job and everything. She would have ruined his life. Come on here. It isn't much of a story, but I think it proves what you've been saying, teaching, teaching that women, even at a young age, can be treacherous. You're darn right, and they're more aware, aware of it now than ever. All they have to do is look at stories and about uh, type of things like that, or we're in the age, the era of believe all women. And I'm not saying that uh, there aren't women that have genuine reasons to say that awful things are done to them. Fair enough. The problem is, is that some will make shit up right then, and they learn at early age. Like I said, they learn at early age to manipulate their brothers, their fathers, boys at school, whip out the tears. How many times have you guys seen a girl whip out the tears like that, like like a button was pushed? Whoosh, waterworks bullshit. You know it. Any relationship guys have seen your girl just Niagara Falls like that and then, then turn off the falls, you know? So it shows how careful guys have to be and yeah, just like you said, how treacherous. So I'm so glad the guy didn't lose his job and he's a career teacher doing well. But can you imagine her going in to the principal's office or, the, or somebody else of authority and I bet you she cried and did the drama and just swore by it that he did this, he did that. It's unbelievable. So, guys, I can't stress this enough. You got to be careful. End of freaking story. And parents out there, you do your best to raise your kids right. You have daughters to make sure they don't become these type of people. That's all I can say.